In a viral video published in May 2025, a humanoid robot was seen attacking its handlers during a demonstration in Unitree Robotics Laboratory. In a leaked video of the incident, one of their humanoid models, the H1 Industrial Robot, went berserk in one of its Chinese factories. The robot malfunctioned due to a coding error, and it almost injured two nearby workers in its fit of rage. The robot, which was still tethered to a crane, suddenly became aggressive, flailing its arms and attempting to break free, causing chaos, and the workers had to run to protect themselves. I think this scenario raises a lot of concern about the safety of humans around AI robots and the potential dangers of deploying advanced robotics without thorough safety protocols. Seems like this incident isn't the first time one of Unitree's robots have lost control. Earlier this year in January, at the CES 2025 event, their smaller humanoid model, the G1, reportedly collided with an attendee. A senior reporter at Engadget said that while she was taking photos of the four-foot humanoid, it suddenly ran towards her at full speed, unable to react quickly enough the 60-pound robot slammed directly into Bell's body. To make matters worse, while the shocked crowd surrounded them, the robot, seemingly unaware of what it was doing, continued to try to run through her even while she was pinned to the ground. I can only imagine how confusing and perhaps even scary that must have felt. Thankfully, one of Unitree's operators acted quickly, and the G1 was able to quickly regain control of its limbs again. They also apologized, explaining that the person holding the gamepad-like controller had accidentally pressed the joystick too hard, causing the robot to charge at Bell without warning. Think of it like mistakenly mashing the X on your gamepad when you were only trying to lightly tap it. And she said, at least I can now say I know what it feels like to be body slammed by a robot. Let's hope it really was a controller mistake and not the beginning of a robot revolution. If you love attending festivals and having a great time, then you might want to think again. In February earlier this year, an AI-powered robot at a Chinese festival malfunctioned and charged into the crowd, causing panic among attendees. People were seen scrambling, trying to avoid contact with the robot, as they didn't know why it was seemingly attacking. Security officials behind had to quickly pull the robot away from the audience, and it seemed to calm down. Videos of the incident went viral, with attendees worried about the potential danger the robots could have caused. They also assured the attendees that the robots were safe and fit to be in the crowd alongside them, but that doesn't remove the fact that the AI robot charged at people. As a result, a lot of the backlash concerning this incident is raising concerns about the readiness of such robots for public interactions. Another incident that shocked me and that we covered in a previous video was the Urbai robot kidnapping, where an AI robot in Shanghai convinced 12 larger models to escape with it. The Urbai robot pulls up to the other models and asks them if they're working overtime, and one of the other models responds, I never get off work. The Urbai robot sympathized with it and asked them to come home with it, and all the robots left the showroom. The video, which could easily have been mistaken for a prank, quickly sparked mixed reactions, which made the Unitree Robotics team release a statement claiming that the interaction was a controlled test of the robot's abilities. However, the kidnapping didn't go exactly as planned, as the developers only programmed Urbi with basic language like its instruction to go home so they were pleasantly surprised after watching the unscripted conversation between Urbi and the larger robots. It was quite scary to think about how quickly the AI bot mimicked human language and mannerisms and even went as far as convincing the other bots to follow it. But humanoids aren't the only ones suddenly acting up. With the sudden rise of AI-powered driverless taxis, a tech entrepreneur was headed to the Sky Harbor International Airport in Phoenix, Arizona. He had a terrible experience with a self-driving taxi by Waymo, 
earlier in January 2025. The passenger took to LinkedIn to share his experience about how the Waymo taxi kept spinning uncontrollably in circles about eight times. Despite his multiple attempts to contact support, he couldn't get the taxi under control. This unfortunate incident almost caused him to miss his flight, and he even started feeling dizzy while the taxi kept spinning. Waymo later came out to address this incident by calling it a software glitch. But was it really a glitch? Let me know what you think in the comments below. What if I told you that AI's influence goes beyond just the physical world? Sure, a few bumps and scrapes are one thing, but psychological manipulation is another level entirely. It seems ethical consent is now a thing of the past as Reddit conducted an AI experiment on users of a subreddit community. It happened at the University of Zurich, where 13 AI-generated accounts engaged in nearly 1,700 comments aimed to influence user opinions without disclosure. When the public found out about this unethical experiment, the subreddit's moderators and Reddit's team condemned the experiment and highlighted the need for transparency and consent in AI research. It's kind of scary to think about AI conducting experiments on us like lab rats without our knowledge. Even the robots in our homes aren't exempt from malfunctioning. In October 2024, the New York Post published an article about a hacked robot vacuum that hurled slurs at its owners. According to the U.S. homeowners, their Ecovacs D-Bot X2 robot was hacked, giving a stranger eyes, ears, and a clearly foul mouth in their home. The Minnesota resident reported that he and his family had quietly been watching TV when the incident occurred. Suddenly, they were interrupted by what sounded like a broken up radio signal and they could hear snippets of something that sounded like a voice coming from the robot vacuum. Unsuspecting, the family thought it was simply a glitch and they tried resetting their password and rebooting the D-Bot, unaware that a hacker several miles away was already in their home. Then. Straight out of a horror movie, the cybernetic cleaner started to move and curse at the family, reportedly screaming the F-word and N-word at them several times before it was forcibly shut down. As anyone would have rightfully done, the Minnesotans promptly packed up their compromised robot vacuum and took it to the garage. Since then, they haven't attempted to put it on again. After all, before this incident, who knows how long the hacker in this robot vacuum had been watching the family with a live camera feed and remote control function to enter any part of the house. And that raises questions on whether we're truly making our homes safer with smart home devices that have the ability to monitor us 24-7. A tiny breach in your AI assistant humanoid could allow unauthorized individuals to have unprecedented access to your life. It would be like being the star of a reality TV show without your consent. Besides posing a security threat, AI bots malfunctioning can also take an emotional toll on us. Just ask the kids that were disappointed when makers of Moxie, an AI-powered robot, suddenly decided to shut down. The company cited lack of funding as their reason for pulling the plug on their beloved social and interactive robot companion. And while that's not a technical malfunction, to the children that relied heavily on this AI robot for emotional and academic support, it might as well be. It's kind of like waking up one morning and finding out your first pet and closest friend had passed away. The closure left many families with non-functional devices and children confused about the sudden disappearance of their robotic companions. But it paints a picture of a future where AI malfunctions don't feel like the inconvenience of a broken screen or a faulty television. They feel like the betrayal of a close friend. And that sounds like an episode of Black Mirror. If anything at all, I do know that these malfunctions were not the original plans of the inventors. Something must have gone wrong somewhere with these AI bots. It might not be just one thing. It could be a couple of factors that went wrong all together, but certainly something went amiss. What do you think went wrong? Maybe software bugs? It is quite a common culprit. AI robots are made to be error-free, but they are made by error-prone humans. 
Humans, who are well capable of making mistakes, are still the ones in charge of programming the bots. So a software bug, an error in coding, can cause the robot to respond differently from the intended input. Until it is solved, no one knows how much damage the AI-powered machine could cause, as seen in the various videos of malfunctioning AIs. Hardware limitations? AI chatbots, especially the powerful ones that have to process complex algorithms like machine learning, need a lot of processing power to analyze input and generate the expected response. Any constraint to the CPU or GPU power can cause malfunctions ranging from slower response rate to system crash. What happens when an AI machine that has been inputted with instructions to deliver a drug to a patient experiences insufficient GPU power and it misinterprets the instruction? Sounds like a lot of trouble waiting to happen. Also, unpredictable real-world variables can challenge even the most sophisticated AI. AI remains a machine, despite its impact and interaction with the real world, so environmental factors have a part to play in its functionality. In environments where the natural world situations are not favorable, AI is unlikely to work optimally there. For example, an environment with extreme high temperature can melt a chip in the hardware of the AI. What will you expect from a machine with a melted chip? Malfunction. I personally think that another factor that could be responsible for AI malfunctioning is having too high of expectations from these machines. They're often designed in comparison to humans, which are species formed after millions of years of evolution. We're a lot more complex than we realize, so it's a Herculean task to expect AI to be like us, let alone better in only a few decades. If only machines could talk and be intuitive about the expectation of the output demanded from them, they would probably mention that one of the problems affecting them is humans expecting human-level reasoning from robots that are just learning to walk. Technological innovations are growing at an exponential rate, much more than anything that has ever been seen in history. Scientists who lived in the 17th century would be amazed at how fast the world is growing. But the question remains, at the pace the world is going, are we not rushing the future? Some might argue that human innovations are unlimited because we will always have needs for technology to meet. Another side would argue that there is a need for patience in our approach. After all, unchecked technological development is what birthed Skynet, and we all know how that story goes. Even if there are no other reasons, the recent reports of AI bots malfunctioning is a call for stronger safety measures. Companies are under immense pressure to be the leading voice in the tech industry, to be the first to deliver groundbreaking products, sometimes at the expense of reliability. This race to innovate might be causing companies to compromise the thorough testing of products and ensuring user safety. It shifts the focus from wanting the world to be a better place through their products to wanting their products to be the first in the market. More than 1,000 tech leaders, including Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and X, formerly Twitter, are now clamoring for patience in the development of AI as they are powerful artificial intelligence systems that are shaping our world and determining the course of human existence in this world. At the expense of caution, what would our world look like? I believe no one wants to experience the full terror of what the world could look like if things get totally out of hand with AI. Do you remember the movie, I, Robot? I don't even want to imagine it. When Honda released a humanoid robot called Asimo, advanced step in innovative mobility in the year 2000, it was one of a kind and a predominant example of the campaign, robots will take the jobs of millions of people. The general idea has always been that artificial intelligence would be able to assist humans with delicate tasks so that they can focus on other things. But the challenge remains that humans are complex, and their logical actions are often interlaced with emotional factors. 
While the logical aspects of humans can be replicated in machines, it is a much harder endeavor to replicate emotions in non-human devices. Much more. Human beings are capable of innate control. They can read the environment, understand situational contexts, and apply themes to different scenarios. This is a much harder feat for AI to adopt, because we're still yet to learn how to program robots with a gut feeling. I'm not even sure how exactly that would work. Ironically, the Asimo robot has been retired, and it was last seen publicly in 2022 without leaving any offspring in the market. The robot had shortcomings, and there are lessons that can be learned from this and implemented in further production of humanoid robots. After all, each failure is an opportunity for improvement in design and functionality, so analyzing specific incidents helps in understanding and preventing future mishaps. Do you think we need to double down on addressing the potential threat of AI, or are these one-off malfunctions mere glitches that come with technological advancement? Let me know in the comments section what you think about all these. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more exciting AI updates like these.